Hi, and welcome back to TNT's Blues Corner. Just uh, doing a little update here on the MJT Telecaster. We've got something in the box. What's in the box? Well, there's a diagram. That should tell you something. Telecaster. Was my voice changing? Telecaster. Telecaster with three switch grease bucket circuit. I've made a purchase. We're getting... Getting some new stuff here for this thing. Well, bubble wrap for days. Aha, yes. We're looking at a Tele Electronics pre-wired with the grease bucket circuit. We'll get into that at another point, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. That's what we got. Uh, we'll be putting this thing in at some time in the near future. At some time in the near future. That's very big. Uh, in an upcoming video, we're going to install this and some other things. One of the things we're going to have coming here very soon onto this puppy here is, of course, the neck pickup. I might even do a little poll. I don't know. Maybe you can leave it in the uh, leave leave something in the description or not the description, but the comment section for me. I'm curious. I've got this antiquity here, which uh, we talked about here the other day. That's what I've got in there. Very low output, uh, vintage style tele pickup. But what to put in the neck? I think this thing was 6.3 kilo, yeah, 6.35 kilo ohms. That was the uh, the ohms of this particular pickup right here. And so I need something that's uh, similar in in uh, in output. And I was looking around. I mean, I've heard all kinds of. Uh, you know, uh, and I own a Lindsay, or excuse me, what do I own? I own a Jason Lawler, and I heard Lindley, Lindy, Lindy Fraler? Yeah, that's right. He uh, he makes some good pickups, I've heard, never tried one. Uh, I've heard, heard of um, Bare Knuckle is the one I was really looking at. They have a very interesting uh, pickup that, that may be just right for this, but hey, leave a comment for me if you can. I'd be very, very appreciative of that. And like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and or like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I'm getting a handle of this. Or uh, if you've got anything you want to ask me and you can't get to me in the comments, please use uh, you know the the email address at TNT's Blues Corner at gmail dot com. And uh, I try to respond as fast as I can. I really appreciate all your comments and your emails. And we're gonna leave it there. So soon I'll be ordering a neck. I think I'm going to do it uh, with uh, MusicCraft. They seem to be able to do what I'm looking for, clay dots and all that good jazz. I'm going to do a 60 style neck on this thing with a rosewood. I'm going to use a, the darkest rosewood I can. And uh, some of you have been following my channel for a while. You remember the Park guitar, the one that uh, we ended up getting, we sold. It was a 60, uh, what was it, a 63 I think. Um, it was an Esquire. It, uh, he converted it into a Telecaster in the 60s when he bought it. And it was very similar in color to this. And this is kind of what I'm trying to rebuild here for myself. Uh, so if you remember that, it, of course, had the uh, rosewood, really dark rosewood fretboard. And that guitar was incredible. I think I'm going to go with a V to C um, neck profile. And probably, since I do a lot of bending, in either a 9.5 radius or a 10. So... You know, I'd love to hear your comments. And anybody that might have worked with MusicCraft, if you can give me some comments, I'd appreciate that. So we're going to end this thing now. We're about at four minutes. I don't want to keep you guys too long. But thanks for watching TNT's Blues Corner, and I'll see you next time.